Can we create power using a potato? I know that seems odd, but let's test this out to see if this actually works. Take a look at what we're going to need to conduct this experiment. Two potatoes, two zinc plated screws, two pennies, a piece of copper wire, and a voltmeter. First, we're going to start by cutting slits and a hole in each of the potatoes to insert the penny and the screws into. Then I'm going to take one zinc plated screw and one penny and insert them into a hole in each of the potatoes. Next, I'm going to wrap the copper wire around the top of the other zinc plated screw and insert it into the potato. Now I'm going to wrap the copper wire around a penny in a V shape and put that in the remaining hole in the other potato. To conduct the experiment, I'm going to touch each of the probes to the penny and the zinc plated screw that are not attached to the wire. And if this works like it should, we should see a voltage reading on the voltmeter. Wow, that's amazing. So we did it. We answered the question, can a potato produce power? And the answer is yes, but not exactly. You see, the potato isn't producing power by itself. It's working together with the zinc and the screw and the copper's electronegative properties to make an electric current. And when we combine all of that together, we did produce around 1.5 volts of electricity. So there's a fun, hands-on, engaging science experiment you can create at home or school with a few materials. We hope you enjoy that one and have fun exploring and experimenting.